This is the final episode in this miniseries. In part 7 out of 7, we will review Michael Steinhardt, who famously, or perhaps infamously, was funded by his father in the beginning of his trading career. His father frequently gave him envelopes stuffed with $10,000 in cash made from stolen jewelry. But I wouldn't want to take anything away from Steinhardt and his success though. He graduated college at the age of 19, yes, 1-9, and later founded the investment firm Steinhardt Partners. During the period of 1967 to 1988, Steinhardt Partners achieved a compounded annual growth rate of over 30%. This is truly remarkable, especially considering that the S&P 500 market index was only able to grow at a pace of about 9% per year during the same period. He's also famous, or once again perhaps infamous, for how he plays practical jokes on his colleagues and especially his brokers. He tells a story about one time when he was pulling the leg of a broker that he hadn't spoken to for a while. It uh, goes something like this. Oh, greetings Mr. Steinhardt. What can I help you with today? Mark, I want you to buy 30,000 shares of ZCU. I didn't hear that. That's ZCU, the shipping company. Sorry, I didn't quite catch what you said there, Mr. Hi, you're speaking to Michael Steinhardt's secretary, Miss Jones. What can I help you with? Uh, hi, Miss Jones. It's Mark. Can I get Mrs. Steinhardt on the line, please? Uh, it's urgent. The market is closing in five minutes. Ah, uh, sorry. Mr. Steinhardt is in the bathroom at the moment. I will tell him to get back to you as soon as possible. Mark, haven't you done that order yet? What's the problem? Just do the damn thing! Uh, sorry, Mr. Steinhardt. I, I didn't quite catch the name of the stock, you see. Ah, okay. It's... Said you, as in the shipping company. Sorry, I, I didn't quite get... Oh, crap! But Michael Steinhardt also has a serious side to him. The best training advice that he gives during the interview together with uh, Jack D. Schwager for the book uh, Market Wizards is probably when he talks about a concept called variant perception. There is no easier, and this is a strong statement, there is no easier way to make money in markets than having correct variant perceptions. Basically, variant perception is a fundamental view of what will happen in the markets or to a specific security. The perception is typically a contrarian view, or in other words, it's the opposite of the current market consensus. Michael Steinhardt will stay with the position as long as his variant perception remains true. This can sometimes do so that he has very long and profitable runs in situations where the fundamentals later prove to be right. But it's a double-edged sword in that it also means that he could be too early in a position, or sometimes just plain wrong, and not quick enough to cut losses. Here's an example so that it makes sense. Let's say that Michael Steinhardt thinks that, because of new evidence published regarding health issues and its relatedness to smoking, the tobacco industry will take an additional hit. At the same time, he thinks that the general market consensus is that the tobacco consumption will be up slightly in the coming years. In this situation, he might go short a basket of tobacco companies, as his perception of reality is a variant of what the market is currently expressing. He will also stay with this position for as long as he holds this view, but at times he has changed his perception when new data has presented itself or when the market has gone like too far against him. And that's it for this miniseries. What did you think about the concept compared to the normal top 5 takeaways? Any feedback from you guys is greatly appreciated and it will hopefully help me to improve the content on this channel in the future so that it will be more educating, more profitable and more enjoyable to you guys. Cheers!